Hey guys, my name is Kevin. I'm one of the exercise specialists with the West Primary Care Network and today we're here to talk about exercise and blood pressure. So uh, maybe you've had a conversation with your doctor recently about uh, your blood pressure creeping up a little bit higher and rather than using medication, uh, maybe in conjunction with using a medication, you want to use exercise to better manage your blood pressure. So I'm going to explain to you what's going on and how to best use exercise to manage your blood pressure. So. Uh, an average, uh, a pretty good average to shoot for would be 120 as the top number over 80 as the bottom number. So red is called the diastolic, that's the, uh, the bottom number and black uh, is going to be the top number that's systolic. So the systolic pressure is the pressure in your arteries when your heart contracts and the bottom number is the pressure in your arteries when your heart relaxes. So you think about the blood flow going through your arteries, it's going through a waveform of blood and then relax and then blood and then relax and that's how it's kind of flowing. So um, normal pressure 120 over 80. Let's look at what happens during an exercise session. So your top number actually goes up during the exercise session. So if we consider like let's say you worked out for 30 minutes or something like that, um, depending on the intensity of the workout, um, it, your blood pressure will respond accordingly. The harder you work, the higher your blood pressure is going to get. The bottom number will go down just a little bit during the exercise session. Not a ton, but a little bit. Uh, following the exercise session for about the next 24 hours, what happens is right after you're done your workout, your blood pressure actually goes below where it started and then it slowly creeps back up to normal over the course of the next 24 to 48 hours. So um, that would be the effect for the, diet, the systolic and then the diastolic kind of looks like this. It goes down a little bit and then slowly comes back up to normal after, let's say that is 24 hours after. Now if you think about medication and how often you take blood pressure medication, it is typically once every 24 hours. So medication actually does a very, very similar thing. Medication won't cause your, um, your top number to spike like exercise will, but it does have about a 24 to 48 hour effectiveness. So if you just take one blood pressure pill, that's not gonna do you a whole lot of good. Same as exercise. If you're using exercise to treat high blood pressure, you need to do it every day to get the effects that you want. So a good example would be about a 20 minute walk. Uh, I would say that's your minimum probably. 20 minute walk at a moderate to brisk pace. Um, it, it could be biking, could be swimming, weight training could be used for this as well, but it needs to be every day or every other day uh, to get the effects that you're going to want because over 24 hours your blood pressure will re return to the pre-exercise level. So that is the effect uh, that exercise has on your blood pressure. Now we need to talk about what reasons might you have to be concerned about exercise and blood pressure and just let's make sure that you're safe to do so. So the guidelines recommend that you, you start below 160 over 90. So let's just say if you're at 163, that's 163 over 93. The guidelines tell us that that is starting at too high of a level. So you need to get both numbers below 160 over 90 before we can start to use exercise as a safe form um, of treatment for your high blood pressure. Um, so medication can be used in this case, uh, reducing stress, reducing salt in your diet, getting better sleep at nighttime, all those things. If we can use any one of those or a combination of all of them, to lower your blood pressure to below 160 over 90, then we can start to use exercise as a medication. Uh, but if your numbers are above that, we need to work on it without something. The reason is, is because if um, pressure in your arteries it's starting is at 163, if you go and exercise and your blood pressure goes up and then down, and this number comes a little too high, that can be dangerous and just not healthy, uh, not good for your, your arteries. Okay, so um, in conclusion, uh, effects of exercise on blood pressure last about 24 hours, maybe up to 48 hours, depending on the length and intensity of your workout. 
and make sure your blood pressure is below 160 over 90 before starting, okay? My name's Kevin, and this has been Exercise in High Blood Pressure.